Data engineering is the process of designing and building systems that let people collect and analyze raw data from multiple sources and formats. These systems empower people to find practical applications of data, which businesses can use to thrive. What is the job of a data engineer? To understand that, you need to know the process which initially starts from a software engineer that develops a web, mobile app, or an IoT device. For that, they need to collect some kind of data. That's where a data engineer comes in. Data engineering is a skill that is increasing in demand. Data engineers are the people who design the system that unifies data and can help you navigate it. It finds all of the different data sets around the business, cleans the data which is basically finding and fixing any errors in the data, like removes duplicates, and also interprets data in multiple ways. It then gives a common format. After wrangling data, it is given to a data scientist to model and train the data in order to serve a model and also visualize the data in the form of reports and dashboards to get a clear picture of the model results. A data engineer must be an expert in several areas, such as foundations, development environments, organization specifics, interpersonal skills, and emerging technologies. Let's look at the details of some of the skills that tell you a little bit more about the complexities of a data engineer's job. Let's look at the programming languages. At a minimum, a sound working knowledge of Python is required, but usually a master of Java, Scala, Presto, Hive, R, or any number of other languages can necessarily do the job, depending on which part of the data pipeline is involved. In an ideal world, the data engineer would be working alongside a data scientist making sure that their code is reusable and machine learning friendly at scale. Let's take a look at database management now. Extensive knowledge of database languages and tools is required to perform data engineering. Data engineers must ensure that different databases are available to all users and functions. SQL and NoSQL are required skills here, along with advanced DBMS knowledge and skills. Analytics and business intelligence tools are a big part of data engineering. One would think that this is the realm of the data scientists, but it is more for the most part a data engineers. However, a data engineer must build a pipeline that supports data analysis and machine learning. So it helps to understand the terminology and outputs of the end users. Data engineers also need to use statistical modeling on the job. For example, to measure the usage rate of data in a database. A data engineer really needs to understand the difference between cloud and on-premises. Companies and their external data suppliers have data stored in various cloud systems and on-premises as well. A data engineer has to bring all these databases together to enable everyone in the company to use this data. A solid knowledge of operating systems is also required. Since operating systems make a pipeline work, a data engineer must know the ins and the outs of different networks, virtual machines, server management, Linux, Unix-based systems, Windows, and much more. Now we come to containers. Containers are lightweight versions of traditional virtual machines that make it easy and less costly for teams to deploy, manage, and scale distributed applications. They provide many advantages for data scientists. The rapid rise of containerized applications is a good example of how the nature of a data engineer's job is constantly evolving with new skill sets required. A data engineer is also expected to possess domain and business expertise. In most organizations, there is a tremendous amount of legacy business information contained in the company data. Without that domain knowledge, subtleties in the data are often missed, leading to data quality issues. Additionally, without domain and business expertise, it's difficult to imagine the work of the data engineer aligning very well with the strategy of the business. Now let's take a look at optimization. The key skill here is not just to be able to build a data pipeline, but to build one that is scalable and efficient. Higher level skills are needed to design and build a data warehouse that can optimize the performance of queries and when the data warehouse becomes very large, find new ways of making analyses perform. Data governance and security is a big issue and a major concern for data engineers. 
While data engineers are not typically responsible for data governance, they must ensure systems are in place for data access and user control. They need to be aware of data governance concepts and be sure that any tools and platforms they put in place support proper data governance. A data engineer needs to be creative. Clearly, data engineers are expected to have a wide array of technical expertise. Like data science, however, the job also requires critical thinking and the ability to solve problems creatively. This might include creating solutions that don't yet exist. Collaboration is key for data engineers. In addition, data engineers must also be able to work effectively in collaboration with other data experts and communicate results and recommendations to colleagues without technical backgrounds. Most problems with big data are people and team issues. They are not technical issues, at least not in the beginning. Technology usually gets blamed because it's far easier to blame the technology than to look inwards at the team itself. Until you solve your personnel issues, you won't hit the really tough technical issues or create the value with big data that you set out to create. DevOps. There is a skill set and mindset that comes with being in an ops role, and it can be difficult to find developers who have that mindset. Moving on to machine learning and AI. You might think that machine learning is the territory of a data scientist. But if artificial intelligence is the top of the pyramid of business needs, then the ability to collect and move data is a primary need for a business to get to the top of the pyramid. So data engineers are required here too. Last comes streaming and real-time data. With advancements in technology, more and more prediction is done in real time by deploying a model into the streaming pipeline and performing model scoring on every data point in that data stream. We also live increasingly in a world of real-time information and decision-making. Building a streaming data pipeline rather than batch data pipelines is yet another new set of skills that data engineers must be able to implement.